This is lesson 03-28 exercise. Import a PDF and revise it and resave it as a PDF. That's what this is called. So step one, it asks you to open the PDF document called 10 Job Tips that are found in your folder. And note, because a PDF file has a PDF extension, if you double click it in the File Explorer window, it will not open in Word. So this is a new feature to Word, this ability to open PDF documents. But you need to open the file, or you need to use the File Open command to open the PDF. So let's go ahead and do that. Open. And we're going to open. I'm going to open this copy. I don't want to mess with this one. I'm going to open a copy of it. And you can see that it will only open as a read-only copy. And I'm going to say that. I, this is, I'm going to accept this default and say OK. And then I get this little message that I showed, showed you a picture of here telling you that when it converts the PDF file to an editable Word file, that it might take a minute and that it may not look exactly like the original PDF, especially if the original file contained lots of graphics. So I'm going to click OK. and it just takes a second, and it turns up here in read mode. So I'm going to switch to print layout. And my ribbon has disappeared, so I'm going to get it back. But you can notice that it's not allowing me to use anything until I do this save as. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to save it. And I asked you to save it as job tips two. You can see that it's going to save it as a docx. You can see the extension already put on it here. So we're all ready to go. You can just click the Save button. OK, that message disappears. Now we can access these commands. And we are using our Format Painter to paint every one of these headings with a red color. And I know that this is a heading that has been applied here because I can see this triangle. Not sure we've covered headings yet, uh, but I do think that I mentioned that usually the navigation pane will find headings. And I can see it's found headings. I'm not sure why number seven isn't th there. But let's see if we can use this. I'm going to select it here and turn it red. And then I'm going to use my Format Painter to speed this up. I'm going to double click on this because I'm going to use it multiple times. And that means you have to double click on the tool, Format Painter. Then I'm going to come here. It takes me to number two. I should just be able to click here in the margin, and it formats it instantly. Here's three. There's four. I'll jump to five. And you can see how quickly I can do this. Now, I'm not sure where 7 is. I'm going to scroll a little bit. For some reason, this one didn't come in as a heading. I'll color it anyway. 8. I'll just jump to 9 this way. And 10. So you can see how quickly Format Painter helped us. It's still on, as you can see, from the icon with the paintbrush. I need to turn it off, and I can do that by pressing my Escape key. Or go and look at Format Painter up here. It's dark, and I can click on it to turn it off. So two ways. I'll shut this window now. 
So I've done all the formatting I want to do. I'm going to control home. I'm back here. The next thing that you need to do is now we've changed a lot of headings, so we need to save this again. Now I know it's in the right place, so I'm going to just save it like this. Or actually, you know what? I'll go through the long way. Just go back to my current folder here, Lesson 3 Concepts, and I will save. Just in case you've never encountered this message before, you should know what it actually means is do you want to replace the latest version with all the red headings over the older version with black headings? And the answer is yes, you do. So it's now saved. And then Word will also allow you to convert a doc x file to a pdf and why would you want to do that well a pdf is something that you can send to anybody on any computer whether it's apple windows whatever all every computer has the ability to read a pdf document and perhaps your friend doesn't have word and so if they don't have word they wouldn't be able to open it so you can do a file save as. I'll take it back to the current folder. And you can switch the type of file from a docx and now save it as a PDF. Now I don't have to change the front part of the name because the back part has been changed. So we should end up uh, with a 10 job tips dot or Two dot PDF. So I'll say OK. And you can see it instantly opened it here in Acrobat Reader. So I'll close that and my Word document should show up. I'm now going to close this document, which is saved. And that brings me back to my Lesson 3 Concepts folder. And you can see now that originally I opened this one, which gave me all the instructions. I saved a file as a doc, a Word document, as 10 Job Tips 2. And then I also saved it as a PDF as well with the two on the end. And so just to quickly recap, we opened a PDF in Word, we did some changes on it, and then we saved it as a doc, and then we also did another save as and changed the type and saved it as a PDF.